Hey guys, welcome back to another top 10 anime whatevers. But this time we're doing the top 10 mainstream animes for people who are just getting into anime and uh, I don't know, wanna watch something that's good because uh, these animes are mainstream for a reason because they are good. Now, if you are a long time anime viewer, do not watch this video because you've most likely already seen all of these animes. So you have been warned and now enjoy the video. is Soul Eater. Soul Eater is a great anime and it's about three kids who attend the Death Weapon Meister Academy or the DWMA and their goal is to eat a hundred Kishin souls and then become a death scythe. Kill a Kill. Kill a Kill is an anime where the main character Ryuko has to find her father's killer and ends up finding a uniform that gives her amazing powers and she has to use those powers to defeat the quote unquote enemies in her way. However, there are a couple of plot twists in the story that are really, really, really big and are obvious spoilers. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about? You dumbass. What the hell else do you think I'm talking about? We're gonna combine! We're gonna combine? They're gonna combine? They're gonna combine? They're gonna combine! They're gonna combine. Next on the list is Gurren Lagann. Now I haven't actually seen the entire series yet somehow, but I have seen enough to know that it's a really, really good anime. Gurren Lagann is about the world pretty much already being ended and the people are living underground to stay safe from whatever is above ground. Our heroes of the story end up digging up a robot-like mechanism that just so happens to be really, really powerful. I won't let you touch her. Ah, Fairy Tale. The king of cliche and being saved by friendship. Fairy Tale is a good anime where the universe they're in has wizards and magic and guilt and other cool fictional stuff. The main character, Lucy, who just so happens to have less screen time than most of the other Fairy Tale members, if that makes any sense, uh, she wanted to join Fairy Tale and then she met Natsu, a guy who is searching for his father who also just so happens to be a dragon. And then the fairy tale you know, goes on some intense and really weird adventures. So this is the power that was hidden within him. <laughs> I had to test this just in case, but I, I never thought it would actually happen. Kira. It seems you can kill people without having to be there in person. Do you want your mind blown at every corner? Then definitely watch Death Note. Death Note is a story about a Shinigami or a god of death who drops his Death Note. Now the Death Note kills anyone whose name is written in it uh, and he drops it into our world and the protagonist Light finds it and is then trying to make the world a better place by killing off all the criminals. This is a brain versus brain anime where two brilliant minds go at it, and each episode you're probably going to root for a different side. On one hand, you want L to capture Light and stop his killings, while on the other hand, you want Light to prevail. I'll take a potato chip and eat it. Whatever I can tell you, I guess you haven't listened to me for once in your life. 
Number five is Attack on Titan, and this is pretty much the Japanese Walking Dead. It is a really, really good anime where everyone is pretty much just trying to survive from the giant titans trying to eat them. And just like that, everything changed. Next up is the number one anime in Japan, One Piece. One Piece is basically a never ending story with almost a thousand episodes. The basic plot is all of the members of Luffy's crew have huge dreams that they will complete. The main goal is Luffy's, which is to find the One Piece that Goldie Roger left behind. Well, I'm gonna be king of the pirates! <laughs> But he's far better off staying in the body he's got now. What the hell do you know? Not everyone's like you! If you ask anyone what their favorite anime is, they'll probably say Full Metal Alchemist or Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Full Metal Alchemist is about a guy named Edward Elric who tried to bring his mother back to life with alchemy, and it then failed, resulting in the loss of his brother's body and his own arm and leg. The rest is basically the consequence of their actions. I don't care about the Philosopher's Stone. All I care about is returning my little brother to the body he was born with! Imagine a kid treating me like a kid. Well, I have news for you, kid. I'm not really human anymore either. Number two is Naruto. And Naruto is one of my favorite animes with a complex story and a lot of filler episodes. Naruto, if you don't already know, is about a kid named Naruto who has a tailed beast trapped inside of him. And his best friend Sasuke, who leaves their village on a quest for revenge? Or is it to destroy the village? Or is it to protect the village? Dima Sasuke, make up your mind. I went from sunning to sage, the hermit sage of Mount Miyoboku! I am Master Jira! Now before I reveal number one, I want to just show you guys my favorite anime in general. That's it, there's the line to take. There's not much to say about Initial D other than it's a kid named Takumi Fujiwara who doesn't know how good at driving he really is. This is without a doubt my favorite anime and honestly, I couldn't tell you why. You just have to watch it to understand. Open your eyes, you're about to drive straight over a lidless gutter. He just dashed in from the outside and now he's planning on taking the inside on the next corner? No way, pal. I'm not giving you the inside that easily. All I have to do is get half of a car length ahead and I'll have control of the inside. You're not getting the space for it! I gotta uphold the pride of my home turf! You're not gonna pass! Screw with me, man. How are you doing that? What the hell are you driving on? It's an adaptation of a weight shifting technique. So if you're heading into a corner at a really high rate of speed, most of your car's weight is going to be shifted onto the two outer tires. When that happens, you open up your accelerator more and shift the weight further to the rear of your car. Then you're just moving the weight that's being placed on your two outer tires to the one outside rear tire? That's right. The whole point of performing a weight shift in the first place is to take as much weight as possible off the inside front tire while you're in the turn. And if you can do that... ...then you've found a shortcut right over that gutter and at maximum speed. <laughs> Yes, that's right, one of the most known animes and the anime that probably gets the most made fun of for being mainstream is number one. Why? For the simple fact 
that a little over a year ago I did not like animes but for some reason or another I sat down and I started watching SAO and from then on I just fell in love with animes. Now Sword Art Online, the first arc, is about a guy named Kirito who gets stuck inside Aincrad, which is the universe of the game they're stuck in, obviously titled Sword Art Online. Now Kirito has to find a way out of Aincrad and save everyone trapped inside. And then the second arc happens, which no one cares about. To think in season 2 they made that second arc also the same fairy bullshit. Hey guys, did you like my list? If so, then you should leave a big old like and you should subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.